mm-hmm. and there's a trampoline up to that door and mm-hmm. you just open that door and you're gonna be in it. <laughs> right. And yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. could be further from the truth. The early stages of hard work and focus are gonna feel like agitation, stress, and confusion. My colleague, Carol Dweck, who you know popularized this right, theme, growth, growth mindset. mindset. It's an, again, a very misunderstood concept. It's the idea that we can change, so that's built into that. But the discovery of growth mindset was of these kids that actually really enjoyed doing problem sets that they knew they couldn't get right. But for them, they would get this like dopamine release from just focusing on the problem. They liked doing puzzles they couldn't get right. It sounds crazy, but inevitably those kids are very good at puzzles and very good at math and these kinds of things. So growth mindset is, I believe, if it's sort of a neuro- neuroscience lens on growth mindset would be that the agitation and stress that you feel at the beginning of something and when you're trying to lean into it and you can't focus is just a recognized gate. You have to pass that through that gate to get to the focus component. And then if you can reward the effort process, you really start to feel joy and low levels of of excitement in the effort process. That's that buffering of adrenaline. That's that feeling like, yes, I've got a lot of adrenaline in my system, but I'm on the right path. Mm. It feels good to walk up this hill, so -hmm. to speak. And when you start to bring those neural circuits together, you really start to create a whole set of circuits that are designed to be exported to any behavior you want. So if it's writing a book, great. If it's podcasting, great. If it's building a business, great. If it's, if it's you know, building a terrific relationship, great. The, the circuits that Mother Nature has designed are incredibly generic so that we could adapt to whatever it is that we need to do. And I think the misunderstanding around how these circuits work has led to this idea that there's some secret entry point maybe marked flow on the door mm-hmm. and there's a trampoline up to that door and you just mm-hmm. open that door and you're going to be in it. <laughs> right. And yeah, yeah, nothing yeah. could be further from the truth. And anyone who's done well in any career or athletic pursuit knows this, but unfortunately there's a kind of obsession with the idea that it's all supposed to feel good. And it right. does feel good, but there's a whole staircase in which it feels kind of lousy.